Hey guys, back here with another Photoshop tutorial today. In this one, we're going to learn the new select and mask feature in the 2015.5 update release that Adobe's put out for Photoshop. If you're familiar with any of the masking tools or the selection tools, uh, this is going to help you understand and put everything in one spot. And I hope this will be helpful. So let's jump right in. What I did is I use my eyedropper to pick a color here I just went to his beak um, and then selected that color and kind of made it like a gold I don't like that one so let's get a different one let's go here and make it uh, about like that and then click OK then what we want to do is go up to layer new fill layer and solid color that's going to take this color and add a fill layer so we'll call it gold yellow and click OK alright we've got that above there now what we want to do is Go to our eagle or whatever animal or layer you're using and go to one of your selection tools. So I'm going to use W and we'll go into select and mask. So what does this do now? Well, if we change the transparency, you should be able to see the eagle and it's giving me fits. So let's maybe drop that underneath and select and mask. There we go. Okay, so now if we take the transparency up, you can see that it removes the other layer. but Let's take it down to about 70% and we will use one of these tools. So we're going to stay on the quick selection tool and you can just drag across here and pick out whatever you're trying to mask, uh, whatever you're trying to select. So this is a little easier than going through and, you know, selecting and uh, missing some stuff. And I want to show you how it makes it easier. Um, so I'll just use my alt key to remove some of this and if you're familiar with refine edge it's still here you can just click on this option or use your R for short but shortcut key <laughs> and when you come here you use that and Photoshop will analyze the pixels that you're trying to remove so in this case it's looking at the eagle and the background of the blue so picking out you know what pixel data you want to keep so just we'll click on that I need to keep this layer here okay all right we'll zoom out and this is gonna be a little tricky but I will try to refine that even further and just click around these edges to get rid of that blue that's a little too much How about I'll make it a little smaller and these are transparent feathers so it's real fun to try and get those out of there so um, if you're a real Photoshop user you know that your selections are everything so I would tidy that up even a bit and I'm going to keep the tutorial short so I'm not going to go over that in too much detail but I will show you how you can use this tool to go through and uh, select those so this is really good on hair if you're trying to get uh, you know a hair somebody's hair into the background okay there we go that looks pretty good now I'd go through and touch this up even more uh, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. So what else can you do? We've got this brush tool. If you'd like to take that out, uh, or you can brush it back in. Okay. And then we've also got the lasso, which you can go around and drag and select different parts. Uh, but for now, it looks like I've got a pretty decent selection here. Um, and we still have our radius feature, so we can use the smart radius to pick out even more things. Uh, I'm going to take this down and let's see if we see the difference here probably leave it about right right up here around nine ten looked pretty good I might just leave it at that for this okay and then you can smooth out your edges if you'd like so these you've used before if you've cut out selections and I'm not going to use that because you notice it brings some blue back in uh, so I'm going to take that off you can also feather the edges and then for ours, I'm, I am going to use a little bit of contrast because we did have blue and yellow in those. And I want to take my transparency up so we can actually see the main difference. So let's go back here and see that. See, it's cutting out too many of the feathers. And go back in here real quick and try to get even more of this. So, the I mean, you touch this up and it'll make it you know a lot easier to get your selections so that looks a little bit better okay now uh, you can shift your edge if you'd like and we're not going to do that because it's cutting all of that out so let's bring that back to zero 
And then we can also decontaminate the colors if, let's say, there was some yellow um, in here and we didn't want that to affect the background layer. You can see in this one it's trying its best to make it look even better. So this is with the decontaminate colors on and then that's with it off. So you can see that I'm going to use it in this case. And we're just going to go to a, let's see, come on Photoshop. Okay. We'll do a new layer with layer mask and we can also cycle through these if we use F. Let's go through these different views so we can see what it looks like with these different views. So the onion skin is a newer one and you can use X to disable those if you want to see change those. You can also show the original. Okay, so without any changes and then you can show the edge which is really nice to be able to cut that out. So uh, there's a few of the features. Let's go ahead and click OK and it's going to bring it into a layer mask and I'm going to add some text here and it's going to say let's change the color of the text. I'm a, I'm a booze. There we go. All right. So now let's make this a little bigger. So we've selected the eagle and taken it out and switched it from the background. So if we want to take these off, we can see what the original looked like. And then this is with the new background on there. Now, like I said, selections are really important, so you can go through and touch this up even further. But I wanted to show you the features and everything that's available in the new Select and Mash tool. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it's one of the good changes that I think Adobe's made. So. Uh, questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and like the video if you liked it or subscribe to the channel and i'll make even more of these so uh take care guys and i'll see you around in the next one